Leave it. You need to get into the room now. Personnel or police immediately if you see anything suspicious. We cannot allow anyone to leave the hospital at this time. All personnel should remain in their staging areas unless otherwise instructed by security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta clear the. You're on two milligrams of morphine an hour. How the hell are you still awake? That don't tell me. Ischemic cardiomyopathy. The blood's not reaching your gut. You have intestinal hyperperfusion. It'd be stronger than the narcotics. The nurse said I might only have a day or two left. She was being kind. You're Dr. House, aren't you? Oh, God, don't tell me we used to date. The limp. Yeah, I read about you. I sent you a letter before they knew what was wrong. Tried to get you to take my case. Yeah, well, you should have kept reading. It's heart disease is kind of below my pay grade. <laughs> uh, it started as tooth pain. No one got it that it was a heart problem. Till I had a series of massive heart attacks. Mm. <laughs> Just uh, this doesn't bother you. Are you talking with your mouth full? A little. I meant the fact that you're standing here watching me die because of my, my file bored you. I take maybe one in 20 cases. A lot of the people I turn down end up dying. It's really a good argument for there being more than one me when you think about it. Cards, no flowers, not even a phone call. Let me guess, lighthouse keeper. I was a classics professor at Princeton for 26 years. Mostly research. So your closest colleagues died 2,000 years ago. That must be it. Not that she had no friends because, say, you're a miserable bastard. <laughs> what do you care? The next few hours are gonna be grim. Be nausea, pain. No company as soon as I can get myself out of here. I can unlock the regulator. You can put yourself in a narcotic haze and sleep blissfully to the end. Well, is that a favor to me or to you? Win-win. <laughs> no, thanks. You trying to guilt me for not taking your case? You think a classicist doesn't believe in fate? You think Odysseus would lie whimpering like a loser in a hospital bed? Take my offer. Take the drug holiday. Numb yourself out. I think you're the one who wants to numb himself out. Bad pain day. Bad pain month. And since... I'm not using it. Oh, uh, if you don't want the morphine, you must have something of your own. <laughs> I was in rehab. I had a little problem with the something of my own. Now all I take is ibuprofen and it's two flights up. For the whole month? Pain's migrated. I think the arterial wall is damaged. What, you don't know? I haven't had an arteriogram yet. You don't want the test. In case the arterial wall is fine. Which would mean that the pain is coming from something else. What's her name? Interesting that you jump from physical pain to long lost love. You're projecting. So what's her name? What time is it? What does it matter to you? T minus four hours. 820. Now, tell me who she is and what are the pathetically long odds that she's going to visit or call. Only that's a reason not to take the morphine. 
So this is what it comes down to in the final hours. Deifying some lost love. Hoping to get her on the phone and make everything perfect. It's pathetic. Either you left her for a reason or she left you for a reason. A phone call is not It's gonna... my daughter. So why isn't she here? I left my family. I went and Gracie was six. I was sort of forced out, actually. After I'd had an affair with a student. For sex or love? <laughs> Neither. I'd only married Gracie's mother because of the baby. But I didn't think I could handle a commitment and like any decent academic, I proved myself right. And what time it is matters because... She's a dance teacher in Atlanta. She gets home from work at nine. I just wanted to speak to her one more time. That's my story. What's yours? Same thing, pretty much. I'm going to be dead in a few hours. Your secrets couldn't be safe for me. Unless you're keeping them from yourself. I like being alone. At least I convinced myself that I'm better off that way. And then I met someone at a psychiatric hospital, of all places. She changed me. And she left. We're better off alone. We suffer alone, we die alone. Doesn't matter if you're a model husband or father of the year. Tomorrow will be the same for you. But yesterday would have been different. It's nine o'clock. I guess she's running late. You don't seem that surprised. That's what you expected to get. You waited until you knew she'd be out. Her aunt. I said that she starts work late. Every now and then I just call it to hear her voice on the machine. I was never there when she needed me, so uh, what right do I have to need her now? None. This just means you're a hypocrite, because apparently you do. Forget about rights. Just tell her what you need to tell her. See, this is your father. I love you.